Hey there. I frequently get asked, what is the best thing I can do to get good at guitar playing right now? Uh, realistically, it's measured in, in hours. How, how many hours are you spending on your instrument? Uh, there's the, the golden rule of 10,000 hours to get good or be a professional at anything. Uh, I don't know that guitar is any different. Um, there's really no one secret trick to get good at guitar right now. Uh, having said that, there is something that you can practice to accelerate your the, the physical mechanics of your hand, which in turn could could ultimately uh, you know accelerate the whole process of learning for you. Um, and that's the trill. It's just that process of hammering on and pulling off a note. Uh, I, the first couple weeks that you do these, they they are pretty brutal. You'll notice that your hand will hurt, and it'll, it could even shoot all the way up your arm as you, all the supporting muscles are developing. Uh, what I always recommend is just to sit there, usually you know while watching TV or a movie or uh, a Bears game. Now that the uh, football season's in, and you just sit there, hammer, pull, hammer, pull see how fast you can go and right now I'm doing one and two and basically the goal would be see how long you can keep this up before you feel like you're gonna fatigue or you just don't have any strength left you can stretch it to three same finger use your ring finger on three stretch that to four pinky on four stretch that to five and and your overall goal is just to see how long you can go uh, so if there's if there's a good TV show that you like, I mean, when, when I was doing these a ton, I was in high school and I was watching The Simpsons and it was on three times a day. So there's 30 minutes, 90 minutes of practice. Because um, I was going to sit and watch The Simpsons anyways. So if I could just have a guitar in my hand, it didn't have to be in tune, uh, it didn't have to be plugged in. It was just the physical action of developing the strength in my fingers. This helps with strength and endurance accuracy making sure that you land in the fret consistency lear learning how to land on the same spot on your finger as well as the same spot on the string repeatedly for an extended amount of time stretching uh, if, if you hold down fingers like holding down one and two and trilling three or holding down one two and three and trilling four what you're gonna find is that this actually works out finger independence uh, these muscles aren't developed with anything else in life, as far as I can tell. Uh, maybe some piano playing or trumpet or saxophone, uh, but there's nothing in our day-to-day -day lives that are gonna develop these uh, miserable, miserable muscles. So they're, they're, they're shockingly important to guitar playing. So it's just sitting there and, and working them out, you know, up and down every day, do a different string every day. Change your location on the fretboard every day. Uh, it doesn't doesn't really matter it's as long as you're working on them every day. Uh, see how fast you can go, see how loud you can get it, just controlling the dynamics with your left hand. And then uh, ultimately, after a couple weeks, that, that initial soreness that you, that you develop is going to dissipate and you'll be able to move, move faster and your endurance will, will really, really start to improve. Uh, it's, it is the best exercise that I have. Uh, as terrible and lame as it is, it really, really pays dividends. Uh, so consider working on these if you have uh, a favorite TV show or you're going to sit and watch some sports anytime soon. Good luck.